I will be back with a lot more homeschooling content, but in an effort to research, right? What do you do? You go to Facebook, you join groups. Um, and what I am finding is that predominantly homeschooling families are highly, highly religious. It seems, right? Religious curriculum. They believe it's a religious calling to homeschool their children. Um, you know, and that's, that's great. Um, I'm not going to get into how or what I feel religiously. Sorry, I'm fumbling with words. Words are hard today. <laughs> um, but I do believe that school should be secular, that school and religion for my family, personally, please don't come for me. Stephanie Harlow, best phrase ever. Uh, please don't come for me. <laughs> for my family, our religious beliefs and our schooling um, needs to be separate. So for me, I just wonder, and I just wanted to put this out there, um, if a lot of you are discouraged by trying to look into homeschooling and see that the most popular curriculums and resources and co-ops, it is just covered in religion. And if that is a deterrent to you, um, I want you to know that I am finding a lot of amazing resources, curriculums, you know, YouTube channels, Facebook groups um, that do not blend the two. But it's a struggle. It's a struggle when that's what you're looking for. It's not super readily available. It's definitely not the norm. Um, and I was just looking at this Facebook post about homeschooling. And it's about, I'm trying to remember which curriculum it was, the good and the beautiful. I believe, which, by the way, is what we are using for our language arts uh, for fourth grade, it's level four. But I'm super, super excited about it. Um, you know, but I'm just scrolling through this post, you know, because I'm heavy into research, of course. And this mom is giving this whole religious lesson, um, you know, and how, oh, I can't even, I don't know YouTube's rules well enough to know yet if I can talk about P-O-R-N, but I guess there is a part of her curriculum that, according to her in The Good and the Beautiful, um, paints a very shameful light from a religious standpoint um, on maturing and those feelings and, you know, what you should do with them and what you shouldn't do with them. And so it just really surprised me. Uh, to be looking at a homeschool Facebook group page, right? Um, and seeing this conversation, it was so bad. There were so many comments that the group administrator had to turn them off. Um, a lot of people were really upset. Um, so this isn't about Facebook. This isn't even about this post. It just more made me realize that maybe some of you are really wanting to homeschool your kids. And it can be a challenge. Not everybody is supportive. Um, and when you go looking, right, um, most co-ops, you have to sign a statement of faith, right? And they're only going to use religious curriculums. So if that's your experience, and if that's not what you want, I just want you to know that there are plenty of people that believe in, I think it's called secular homeschooling. I'm almost positive. Secular homeschooling. Plenty of people believe in it. Um, and there are resources for you. Um, you just have to dig a little bit more. So I will make follow-up videos on everything that I am using and finding. Um, again, this is not a video about religion, religious, you know, beliefs. If homeschooling for you is a religious calling and it's super important to you to have that be a part of your academics for your children, 
that's wonderful. And I'm super happy for you. There is amazing, amazing resources for you literally everywhere you turn. So yay. But if you're like me, maybe some of you are like, you know, I, I would really like to maybe homeschool, but I'm not a religious person. What do you do? All the curriculums are based in religion, it seems like, right? All the co-ops based in religion. You have to sign a statement of faith, right? You have to pray. Um, I live in a very small, small place. And so the only option for my 2B fourth grader uh, to do choir is to do it through a co-op that we have to sign a statement of faith and she'll be singing church hymnals. Now, is that a problem for me? No. But imagine if a family, you know, had different belief systems or, I mean, just didn't want religion a part of their homeschooling. It seems like so much now those are the only options available and it can be very discouraging and very overwhelming. And so I just wanted you to know that you are not alone and it is okay. It is okay. Do you hear me? It is okay if that's not for you. You can still homeschool and you can still love it and you can still provide your children with a wonderful, rich, amazing education and experience. And it is okay. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. So more videos to come um, on the various resources that we are going to be using. But if you're looking for secular homeschooling, I promise you it can be done. Do not get discouraged if you're running into the same problem uh, and maybe be leery of Facebook groups. <laughs> I'm just kidding about the last part. Don't come for me. Thank you, Stephanie Harlow, for the phrase. I love it. Don't come for me, in my opinion. Um, not my thing. I hope you're having a great day. Make good choices. I'll be back soon. Bye.